G'day guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing my round 22 tips and going over my round 21 tips. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. And I forgot to tip last round. I do not know why it didn't tip for me. I swear to the love of God I put my tips in. But yeah, I got one out of nine, so yeah. Um... You don't need to review that, but my real tips, if we were to switch over to the game, I tipped the dogs, I got that right. Tipped the eagles, I got that right. Tipped north, I got that right. Tipped Geelong, I got that right. Tipped Carlton, which I got wrong. I tipped the power, I got that right. I tipped Hawthorne, I got that wrong. Tipped Freo, I got that wrong. Tipped Brisbane, I got that right. So in reality, I got six out of nine. With a margin of 45. Alright, now, with the round 22 tips. Sydney versus Collingwood. It'll be tough for both sides. Sydney are falling away like crazy. Being honest, this might seem a little bit crazy, but I'm saying Collingwood by 52. Sydney are just that bad right now. Collingwood... Starting to come decent. So I'm going to tip Collingwood by 52. Call me all crazy if you want. Uh, Brisbane Giants. The Giants coming off a couple of good wins against Melbourne and Hawthorne. Both by under four points. Um, but look at Brisbane's form. They've won. I'm, I, I've lost count because they're just that good right now, Brisbane. At the Gabba, made it a fortress from that horrible start of the season. They've really turned it around, and it's actually good to see from Brisbane. Um, I'm really proud with what they've done. If I was a Lions supporter, I'd be very proud. With this amazing comeback in the season, you've got to tip them to beat a great side like the Giants. It'll be close because the Giants are only two points off of Brisbane. It'll be a thrill of a game, but Lions to win by four. North West Coast, you guys have already seen in my preview, my tip. I'm not going to go over it much more, but I did say North to win by 15. Eagles aren't the best away, but it is in Tasmania. And we could make stuff close because we barely played in Tasmania. So anything can happen with stars like Harley Reid, Tim Kelly, Jai Simpkin, Nick Larky, Paul Curtis, Jeremy McGovern, Tom Barras might be back. Matt Flynn might be back, which will carry us. But um, I'm going to say North by 15. Frio Geelong. I'm going to say Fremantle by 16. Geelong will get close at Optus. Geelong, that wonderful game against Adelaide. Lawson Humphreys, well done for scoring your first goal. You're a Swanies boy. And that's good to see. You're starring in the AFL. Um, by the way, thanks for winning a premiership for us, Lawson and Humphreys, in the reserves last season. Anyways, on the side of the AFL, Geelong have a really strong side and they've been overperforming in the past few weeks, sitting on 52 points to Frio's 50. They've won four out of their last five. Frio have won three out of their last five. Um, Geelong are just really good right now. It's hard to not tip them. But Fremantle are just as good as Geelong right now. So it will be very tough to see who wins. But I am going to be the safe one and back in the favourites, Fremantle, at home. Um, Melbourne, that's the power. What can I say? The power coming off an 112-point win. The Melbourne Demons coming off 51-point Lost to the Bulldogs. They're in a crisis right now, but I can't say much because the Bulldogs have won four out of the last five. They've won four in a row, in fact. Say that. Melbourne aren't in the greatest of form compared to the power. Third on the table, won four out of their last five, won their last three. Doing really good in the AFL. And they'll make it even better with a, with a comfortable 40-point win against the Ds at the G. Essendon take on Gold Coast. Essendon, good win against Frio by 1 point, 90 to 89. Gold Coast losing to West Coast. It was quite obvious in my opinion. If you didn't tip, tip West Coast, um, unlucky. 
unlucky because a lot of people did. Not a lot of people, but a tiny little fraction of people did. And one of them was me. So, yeah, I'm happy that the Eagles got the win against the Gold Coast Suns. But Gold Coast away are horrible. If there was that people first, I'd probably back in Gold Coast. Just because Gold Coast away is that bad and Essendon are doing decent. Although they have fallen off the past few weeks other than the Freo game. Um, I'm just going to back in Essendon. The Essendon edge. Essendon by four. Moving on to the Sunday games. Carlton take on Hawthorne. Hawthorne coming off a two-point loss to the Giants. And Carlton coming off a loss to Collingwood. Mitch me Govan. Wow, we miss after the siren. Mitch McGovern, holy shank, what was that, mate? Like, honestly, Mitch McGovern, he could have won Carlton the game. Carlton well could have won, but Mitch McGovern messed it up. So, Carlton, being honest, that comeback, I am going to give a lot of credit to Carlton. At the end of the day, yeah, he should have won if it weren't for McGovern. But Collingwood played a lot better the whole game. And that first three quarters from Carlton was horrible. Um, but then again, Hawthorne are a very young side. Although they do have the chance to beat Carlton, I reckon they're going to try as hard as they can to take it. Being honest, I think this game is going to be a draw. But the team that I'm going to back in, I don't think anyone will win. I think it's going to be a draw. But I'm just going to back in Carlton. Richmond Saints, call me crazy, I'm tipping Richmond. Uh, just because Richmond is so... No, I'm just kidding. I'm tipping St Kilda. Um, St Kilda, the last few weeks have been decent. Other than the Brisbane game, they beat Essendon by 50, Eagles by 70. They're doing meh right now. It's like Emmy. Like, it's uh, it's just... Uh, uh, decent. Yeah, they're doing like meh play right now. But the Richmond Tigers are horrible. Sitting in the last position, it's going to be hard for them to climb up and beat a strong state side. And the final thing, which is guaranteed Richmond will lose, it's at Marvel. If you haven't seen Richmond at Marvel, they are dog crap. Yeah, Richmond at Marvel will not beat a strong St Kilda side who play well at Marvel. So St Kilda by 53. In the last game of the round, a blockbuster at Adelaide Oval. The Dogs take on Adelaide. Should be a good game. The Dogs coming off a few wins. Four in a row to Adelaide. Winning two out of their last five. Adelaide are not doing very good right now, sadly. Um, look, they lost to Hawthorne. They were down by 78. They, only, they got lucky to hit the last two. But Haw- Adelaide aren't very good right now. Everyone had a high hopes for them, but I knew that they wouldn't make finals, and I was right. So um, that's a good prediction. But realistically, if they win all their games, they won't get anywhere. So no matter what they do, they will not get anywhere. Yeah, and Adelaide don't have nothing to play for, but the Bulldogs do. The Bulldogs are currently sitting seventh. They're two points off of ninth. And they are eight points off of first. So it's a really close final series. The Dogs have a lot to play for. Adelaide don't. Don't think Adelaide will try their best. And I reckon the Bulldogs will get a scrappy win at the Adelaide Oval by 35. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you soon. Peace out.